Silhouette has just released new foil transfer sheets marketed for their Curio machine. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to use for foil writing with your Cricut Explorer or Cricut Maker. The foil comes in packs of six 8.5 by 11 sheets in gold, silver, or copper. I'll put a purchase link in the description of this video so you can be sure to get the right stuff. To use it, you separate it from its liner and cut it to the size you need. It's not like other foils you're familiar with. It's not as flimsy or hard to handle, and it only needs pressure to work. That's right, no toner, no glue, no powder, no heat, just pressure. Place the cardstock you'd like to foil on your mat face up. Position a piece of foil on top, shiny side up, where you'd like the design to appear. The foil isn't sticky, but it does seem to cling to paper, so I haven't even needed to tape it down. For best results, you want to use writing fonts or choose a writing design for this. If you've used a pen in your Cricut, you may have learned that cutting files can disappoint when rendered as outlines, and you'll get the same effect with the foil. I picked out a home sweet home writing design for this, so I'll find it again and place it on the map. I hide sections I don't need, in this case the border, and I set the remainder to score since I'll be using the scoring tool for this. For demo purposes, I'm adjusting the size of my design based on the foil I put on the map. Normally, of course, you would design first, then cut and place the foil and paper on your mat accordingly. The only tricky part of this is making sure your design lands on the foil. I move the design on the preview mat to match the position of the foil on my actual mat by simply counting squares. Install the scoring stylus and set the dial to poster paper or a similar setting on the maker. At the prompt, load the mat and press the go button on your machine. If everything is lined up correctly, the scoring tool would be pressing our design into the foil. I'm using the Explorer 1 for this demo, in case you're thinking that my machine looks different than yours. While this is working, let's talk about something else. You may be wondering if you can foil and cut, and the answer is yes you can. In design space, what you would need to do is attach your foil design that is set to score to a solid outer shape that is set to cut. The Cricut will always score first, so as soon as it finishes scoring, you have a chance to quickly pause. While in pause, remove and clean up the foil without removing the mat. Change the dial to cardstock setting, and then resume to cut out the shape around the foil. Once the machine is finished, and since we're only foiling this time, we can eject the mat. Carefully lift a corner to remove the original foil piece. Okay, so the initial reveal is disappointing, but hang on because we've got one more step to go. We'll be using low-tack tape, such as painter's tape, to remove the excess foil that's left its film carrier but didn't bond to the project. You want to take your time and use the tape gently, at least until you get a feel for it. You don't want to pull up too much foil or deposit foil from the tape back onto the project. Make sure your tape is clean for each swipe. Okay, see, I told you to hang in there. Worth it for sure. If you have a cuddle bug or big shot machine, you'll want to check out my video on how to use transfer foil with your folders and dies too. Oh, the possibilities. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and learning about how to use Silhouette Transfer Foil with your Cricut. If so, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a share, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and drop by CleverSomeday.com for more innovative ideas. Thanks for watching.